Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you some of the easiest work from home jobs that are hiring right now and trying to get people to start ASAP. So one company to check out right now is called perfectserve.com. PerfectServe is a place that has a way for you to optimize provider scheduling, streamline clinical collaboration, and improve patient and family communication across all care settings. So they kind of help the healthcare industry they have a tier one support specialist available right now, which is a remote call center related job. But again, you are working from home instead of in a physical call center. And with this particular job, they want you to be located in the US and willing to work nights and weekends after their initial onboarding training. And you will go through initial onboarding and training together with other support specialists, which will align with a day shift Monday through Friday day schedule. So they're currently wanting people to start pretty quickly July 8th, 2024, which means you only have a few weeks left um, to apply for this job. And also they are seeking a wide range of customer support professionals to join the team. And you will be responsible for supporting and delighting perfect serves and users, physicians, nurses, and system administrators. They will support general user account management and user education, on-call schedule management, mobile and web interface assistance, application builds and revisions and application troubleshooting so who you are they're looking for people basically that can work daytime schedules but also sometimes during the weekend like one weekend day and then also available to work some holidays as required but many companies require this willingness and excitement to work nights and or weekends occasionally strong technical aptitude good communication skills, analytical and troubleshooting skills, ability to work in a fast paced environment and successfully prioritize completing tasks, high customer empathy and exceptional customer service skills and access to high speed internet, greater than 100 Mbps down speeds and greater than 10 Mbps upload speeds preferred. So which means they are a little bit flexible with that. Obviously those are a little bit faster than some companies require. Many companies only require like 20 to 50, but this is still a doable like internet speed to get in many cities in the US. But what you'll be doing is field incoming client communications via phone chat and the online customer portal, help end users administer their perfect serve applications, train end users on how to best use perfect serves phone, mobile and web applications. You also own basic to advanced troubleshooting efforts related to message delivery and or message content issues, identify root causes and make the appropriate configuration changes to resolve the issue. Also consult, design, configure and deploy custom applications, leveraging best practices to meet workflow needs to perfect serves end users. You also build and revise new user accounts based on established standards and best practices. Work with end users and hospital IT personnel to troubleshoot mobile and web connectivity issues and collaborate with other perfect serve teams, including customer success, integration and technical teams on escalated technical issues. Now, in terms of pay, they don't seem to tell you upfront how much this job really pays, but this is a job that you can at least look up the company profile. They have a 4.3 out of five star rating. And as far as how many people recommend working here, 87%, which is a very, very good score. In terms of benefits here, they don't mention a lot in the application page, but you do get a 3.7 out of five star rating. Some people report saying that they have basic healthcare, fantastic paid time off and holiday package, good 401k match, good range of investment options as well. And then interview wise for perfect serve, they have a 2.9 out of five difficulty rating, which is fairly standard, 69% positive compared to 22% negative, which is above average, pretty well above average actually. Now you can also look up a customer support specialist here. You have technical support around 23 an hour, customer support around 21 an hour, customer service specialist, specialist around 20 an hour. So it's probably somewhere in that range of 20 to $23 an hour. Next, we have a company called Nabis, which is a cannabis wholesale company. And this is a place where they have a CX associate job available right now. And basically for this type of job, one thing that's really uh, good to note here, their team is backed by Y Combinator as well as many celebrities. For instance, uh, DoorDash co-founder Stanley Tang, Joe Montana, who's an NFL Hall of Fame quarterback, Gmail creator Paul uh, Buckheit, Twitch co-founder Justin Kahn, and many others. And also Y Combinator is actually a major company. Um, I believe they were started or at least headed by 
um, the guy in charge of OpenAI. So very well known and they have invested in many different startups over the years. So this is a job that, that pays you around $17 per hour paid on a weekly basis. You work at a fast growing startup. Medical, dental and vision is offered to full-time employees and you have well-rounded coworkers and teammates to work with. So you are going to basically act as an extension of their operation, actively aligning the goals of the brands and retail partners with the day-to-day -day operation. They want you to be punctual, detail-oriented, empathetic, and can communicate clearly and effectively. Responsibilities, provide white glove support to both internal and external novice partners, such as brands and retailers. Support customer experience managers with ad hoc projects general assistance of operations managers execute several inbound and outbound calls emails and chats maintain response times missed call rates and other kpis at a rate equivalent to or above the team's average you also monitor communications to help keep other departments informed and responsive work with various internal and external stakeholders to champion partner needs and drive towards solutions that improve partner success and identify and escalate issues to the appropriate channels Qualifications, associate degree or two years relevant work or customer service experience. So you don't necessarily have to have experience if you have an associate degree or better, but if you don't have that two years relevant work or customer service experience, they say relevant work experience could be a lot of different things. That's, that could be a very wide range of things because customer service is a very um, wide net to cast when it comes to a certain type of work experience. That could be retail, that could be working at a restaurant, it could be working in a call center, it could be a lot of different things. Ability to work occasional evening and weekend shifts, which is very common among many customer support jobs. Basic math, I think most people probably have that. Strong and timely communication, um, it could be via phone, front, slack, and a few other tools. High level of patience and empathy, for NABIS partners, ability to communicate between departments with humility and understanding, experience with de-escalation and client retention, basic knowledge of payments and collection, keen awareness and understanding, low ego, willingness to learn new software and, app and platforms, adaptability, ability to multitask and take on more than one project at a time, cannabis experience is a plus, ability to pass pre-employment background check. And, you know, for a job like this, it's probably worth noting you probably won't have to pass a drug test. And as far as what's like to as far as what's like to work at novice, they have a 3.5 out of 5 star rating. 61% recommend working here to a friend. Benefit wise, they don't really have a lot uh, for their average here. They have five star ratings, so the fact that it doesn't that it says zero is not accurate. They do have a five star rating for their maternity and paternity leave. They say um, they keep adding more as they grow. It's a nice startup. Love the 401k. A lot of options for healthcare, 401k matching, paid time off and maternity leave, vision and dental. So those are some things people have said. Interview wise, 2.7 out of five difficulty is not bad. 50% positive compared to 33% negative is also pretty good as well. Next, we have a company, company called Trans America. Trans America is all about helping people live longer and live better. So they have like retirement, employee benefits, investments, insurance, they cover a wide range of things. They actually have a new business customer service quality specialist available right now, which is posted less than a week ago. It is a full-time work from home job in the United States, as you can see, and basically, you will provide quality results through quality assurance reviews of all service transactions, review accuracy of timeliness and efficiency of service transactions with recommendations for quality standards as appropriate to management. Responsibilities include use, utilize working knowledge of processing and quality functions, compliance with state and federal regulations, and SOX, SEC, IMSA, and quality functions in the customer contact center. You'll monitor accuracy, timeliness, and efficiency of service transitions, report and document deficiencies and or inconsistencies in procedures which affect quality or create potential problem situations. Regularly audit the work within the teams for accuracy and adherence to procedures, provide one-on-one -on -one coaching or training recommendations to management, provide support to other teams as needed, with resolving customer problems, processes, procedures, etc. Attend and participate in various departmental meetings with feedback and reports on quality assurance service levels. 
results and recommendations for process improvements, and remain abreast of current procedures and changes. So qualifications, associate's degree or equivalent work experience, minimum of zero to one year's customer service experience required. I don't know if that means like zero experience is okay or if you have to have at least like six months of experience, but either way, it's very low. Working knowledge of insurance industry operations, SOX state and federal regulations is preferred not necessarily required, ability to adapt to changing processes, meet multiple deadlines, strong communication skills, and superior soft skills, and preferred qualifications here, strong analytical organizational problem solving and customer service skills, ability to differentiate between products and work types, strong verbal and written communication skills, positive professional attitude, ability to coach, motivate, and mentor others, attention to detail, and seeking knowledge through LOMA and department classes. Working conditions, remote environment, strong PC skills, including use of Microsoft Office, fast paced environment, etc. And this does tell you the pay range, which is up to $43,000 a year, which will be something like $21, $22 an hour. And they also offer full benefits here competitive pay, bonus for eligible employees. Uh, you pension plan, 401k match, employee stock purchase plan, tuition reimbursement, all sorts of insurance as you see here, employee discounts, career training and development opportunities. So then they go a little more in depth about different programs and paid time off as well. Like it starts at 160 hours annually for the first year, 10 paid holidays per year, and a few things like parental leave, adoption assistance, employee assistance, college coach program, backup care program, and many other things. This was as of December 31st, 2022, that that was established. So as far as what's like to actually work here, they have a 3.3 out of five star rating, 52% recommend working here to a friend. They do offer a lot of benefits and they have a 3.5 out of five star rating, which is pretty solid. 2.4 out of five difficulty is actually very easy to apply. 50% positive compared to 29% negative is also a, a solid rating as well. Now we also have an influencer marketing platform called Creable, which is looking for a sales development rep. And this is a little different than a typical sales development rep because I normally would not call a sales development rep a fairly easy job, but they are looking for people mostly to kind of start the sales process. And most of what you're doing is reaching out via written communication. So I thought it would be a much easier job than usual for a sales development rep. So they tell you right here, they want someone who can help begin the process of generating leads and setting the stage for successful sales by connecting with people through email outreach and LinkedIn. So a lot of your job is reaching out to people with email and LinkedIn. I would say that's a fairly laid back type of job that a lot of people could do. Here, your focus will be on identifying potential customers and engaging them to set up sales demos for products. But the fact that you're doing this via written communication while probably having scripts and everything filled out for you, exactly what to say, I think that makes the job infinitely easier than having to use your personality and to have to be someone who's extremely extroverted and persuasive over the phone, like a lot of sales jobs. So you will be instrumental in the early stages of the sales process, which usually means you're gonna pass on the closing to someone else, which would typically be like an account executive. You will combine your skills in communication research to create and nurture leads. So there's gonna be a lot of research involved as well. Responsibilities, identify and research potential clients to build a robust pipeline. Reach out to prospects via email and LinkedIn, including direct messaging and leveraging your personal brand. Schedule 25 product demos per month with qualified leads. Collaborate with the sales team to refine outreach strategies and messaging. Track and report on lead generation and outreach activities. And stay updated on industry trends and adapt strategies accordingly. So again, typically these types of jobs, you are the one who starts the sales process and schedules things and reaches out to people. But someone like an account executive might be the one who actually closes the deal, which would be a harder job. But your job should be fairly easy. Qualifications, demonstrate a track record of achieving and exceeding goals, especially in sales or lead generation context. Um, so it seems like if you do have a background of achieving goals, even if you were like on a sports team or you did well in school or whatever, they seem to be flexible with that, even if it's not necessarily specifically sales or lead generation. But if it is 
sales or lead generation related, that would be very helpful. So also experience in sales or lead generation with a strong preference for experience in a startup environment, exceptional written and verbal communication skills. You will also need proficiency in using LinkedIn and email. Goal oriented with a proven ability to initiate conversations, build relationships and close deals. Independent and resourceful, capable of thriving in a fast paced dynamic environment and a team player who collaborates well with others to meet collective goals. So that's kind of what they're looking for right now. They also tell you who to email for this job. And as far as what's like to work here, they don't really have a lot of reviews. I think they're kind of a small company right now, but they do have an official Glassdoor page. And if you want to look at reviews, like I said, um, they don't have a lot yet, but I believe they are a, a legitimate company and this job I think would be very attractive to a lot of people. Now typically a sales development rep can have a varied pay because it's usually a combination of base pay plus performance based pay. But here, if you look at just an average, it could be somewhere around $76,000 per year, which is pretty high paying for a fairly easy job. So hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want more daily work from home opportunities like these. If you thought this was helpful, please click the like button. It helps me know what types of job opportunities and types of content you prefer. Don't forget to also leave a comment if you wanna suggest something that I cover in future videos, and I'll see you in the next one.